Hello and welcome back. So we are going to finish the Zippo. And for this I need to attach this part to the base. So just click attach and attach. Now for sure when we now use subdivision, let's see. Hmm, it's working. How is this possible? Oh, well, these edges. I deleted something, I think. What? I didn't want it. How is this possible? Oh, strange. Okay, now it's working. No, it's not working absolutely. You see, here it's not. Here it is not smooth. So turn this off. I will cap these holes. But I don't know when I deleted. How I press Z to zoom. I hope you didn't. It's just my fault. Okay. Polygon. And create. It's very strange. When I deleted it. Huh. Okay, I don't know. I need to create it quick. Uh, just if you have the same problem, just do every second. Poly. Rotate and this one. Now <coughs> border. Cap. 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 Now select by edge. So these, these, these all around. And of course, the same on the other side. Uh, I hope I have just. <coughs> Strange. Uh, doesn't matter. Chamfer. Chamfer it in the same value like here. So less more something like this click ok now go to poly delete this one delete and this one uh, backspace <coughs> touch weld weld this together the same on this side I will do just the half and then I will use uh, symmetry again. Okay, try to zoom. Ah, so delete, hit delete, uh, check this. Backspace, touch it well. Okay. Click here and here. Backspace, backspace before delete. Weld this and this. Okay. Okay, we're done this somehow. <coughs> now let's check subdivision. Yeah, it's smooth, so it's fine. Uh, turn this off. Now, now four elements, select this element, detach my object, doesn't matter. <coughs> now, select this half like before. Not this one. I'll select this. Select this half. Hit delete. Uh, here more. No symmetry. S -s 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 symmetry flip. Yeah, now it's there. Why it wasn't there? Okay, I don't know. Move it. Move it somewhere here and to the rest here. Right click on the move tool and no more 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 <coughs> a little bit more. 
Yes, like this. Uh, convert back to poly. Now it's fine. Okay, back to this attach. <coughs> and we need to weld now some vertex. So check these two. Weld. Weld is not working. Ah, it's back to one. It's weld actually. So, ah, yeah, it's weld, so I don't need to weld this. But I need to move here something because I was. Uh, doing here. Uh, Chafa. <coughs> so move it on the line, just small. Uh, things we have to do. This is fine. It's also fine. This is fine. I'm just checking it quick. Here it's fine. It's fine also here. Now here the same problem. Which I have no idea if it's possible this happen at once. Doesn't matter. Just quick <laughs> fix this. Now so this now cut and we need to cut here here we don't need oh but I will do one cut here uh, here we don't need here we need so cut from here to here <coughs> here to here it's fine yeah this one <coughs> this is fine, this is fine. This one, then this one. Now in the f at the front, this three, and it should be fixed. Okay, let's try the subdivision. Yeah, smooth, smooth, no cracks, perfect. Not absolutely perfect, but it's fine. Smooth and I'm pleased with this. I like it. In yeah. Okay. <coughs> Let's go to this part. I will keep this smooth. I will. I will not. I will turn this off and apply mesh smooth. Uh, turbo smooth. Something like this just for some time to be smooth and we are going my phone do I need no I don't need this okay turn this off press a four and let's do the wheel here um <sighs> cylinder now check out the grid and make here something like now we call it wheel mm, holder. Get this back to one, this to twenty four, this to four. I will check how it's looking here. Okay. It's very simple. So convert to poly, edge, uh, poly, select this, hold down control and select vertex, uh, edge, no, sorry, again, poly and select edge, chamfer, not so much, like this. <coughs> Do a mirror, copy, okay. And move it here. Now for the wheel, uh, check out the grid and make it somewhere here. Move it in the middle, like this. 
like this and to the front. Feel free to see it better just in the middle. A little bit down. Feel free. Okay, <coughs> make it a little bit bigger. Hey, like this. Okay, 1.5 should be enough. Yep. Radius to 2.5. Mm -hmm. Now call it like you want. I will call it Zippo Wheel. I have strange names of the model parts. So matter. <laughs> convert to poly. Now select these polys. Pedal by polygon by la colonna. Sorry. Now, how big is it? Smaller. It's a lot smaller. It's big like this by me. <coughs> the amount is too big. And put this back. <coughs> Like this, yeah. <coughs> now select these polys in the middle, both scale it. I want it should be bigger. Ah, it's not working. Select by vertex, hold down control and select by vertex. Make something like this. Now move it in the middle. Mm -hmm. Now, select this and this edge, loop it in chamfer, too much, like this, the same to here, loop, it's not working again, select this poly, this poly, hold on control, edge, chamfer like this, <coughs> okay, now, uh, select this edge, <coughs> ring, connect it three times. Uh huh. Mm, okay, now it will be fun. Select these and these, loop. Maybe also this one. Wait, I will check. No, not that one. Connect again three times. Yes. <coughs> Now select this vertex. Ah, no. Select this line here. Loop. Select by vertex. And rotate it by this axis. Like this. Back to edge. Select this line. Loop it. Hold down control. Select by vertex. And Rotate it to like this. <coughs> now we have to select the edges which we want, but we know how we can select it very easy. So select these, these, or these. I will zoom on it. Ring. Hold down Control and Polygon. Now extrude. Local normal by polygon I mean and no bevel uh, bevel it down uh, by poly bevel it down 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 this amount a little bit smaller yeah it looks more like a tire but <laughs> like this is looking really on my file lighter Ok, click OK and click Grow. Uh, select by edge and chamfer these edges by a very very small amount. Like these, yeah, perfect. <coughs> Press F4 to see it. It's really looking like tire. Okay, on this I will not do subdivision but just smooth, how to smooth. Yep. Yeah.
it's fine. It's enough smooth, maybe too much. 22 should be enough. Yeah. Okay, before uh, select this edge, okay. Before, let's see. Select these and these. Loop it. And we'll chamfer it again, but small value. Like this. It was looking too sharp. Yeah, better. <coughs> okay, we have the wheel done. These two parts too. On this apply also uh, smooth modifier auto smooth here the same modifier smooth check auto smooth <coughs> now somewhere here in the middle is the node the which is burning so create a cylinder like this big. <coughs> mm, yeah, like this. And I will call it not base. Not base. I cover the poly. Now, first of all, select this edge, and now I will use bevel. <coughs> so I will be able to see. So bevel it a little bit out inside. Now bevel it by zero. Inside, bevel it down. Inside, bevel it down. Two clicks. Okay. <coughs> Maybe move it a little bit inside the model. No. Back, back. No, it's fine. So this is a base for our node. Now, how to create the node? Very easy. Very, very easy. I think I'm telling that everything is easy. Don't listen to me, guys. Okay, go in the middle. Create a, create a cylinder, cylinder like this. Mm. Now, move it up somewhere here. <coughs> Give to these 10 segments. Now, go to the top by pressing T. Now, convert to poly, the hold down shift and copy it. It's hard to see. Wait, I will apply on this, this material. It's better now. Select copy by holding shift, create a copy. Now, affect pivot and move it in the middle. Turn this off, now rotate. Copy it five times. <coughs> Click on the middle one and attach. Attach these, 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 and these. Now, copy this wall here. Oh, it's too big. Copy. Effect pivot. Move it inside. And copy it the same way like before. Five times. <coughs> Don't keep attention to this intersection. You will see why. Uh, attach all these pieces together. I will scale it later. Now, uh, P like perspective. We have this. Now the big magic. Click on modifier and check twist. Now rotate, rotate, rotate by 275. Apply mesh smooth. Ah, before twist, I forgot. Select all top. No. Select by edge, select like this, and deselect like this. So you have selected just the top edges and chamfer them. Chamfer them, not so much. 
like this. Apply twist. <coughs> now smooth modifier or nice smooth. Nivelation by two. Hey, why is not moving? Oh, it's moving again. Two is much. Okay, let's see. Press a four. No, I think one is enough. Yeah, one is enough. Now back to top. Z to zoom. And scale this. Like this. Perspective. Z to zoom. Uh, put it a little bit down. Check this to local. No, it's not changing gimbal. No, it's not working. Check this. Affect pivot and center to object. Now, move it down. Inside. Like this. Okay. <coughs> Apply some default material. The knot is done. We can actually mm, put this to two. Uh, the render values will be better. Now apply simple material here, here, and here. I will turn this off to zero. Okay. It's done. This is done. This is done. Now, this will be some a little bit longer part, I think. Here's the carbon somewhere. So, back cylinder. Don't forget to filter it. Create cylinder like this. Press F4. Uh, carbon. Keep this to one and convert to poly. Now move it down under the wheel and it should be here I think zoom <coughs> we are going to bevel so bevel it a little bit okay no back I need to use this mm -hmm. Bevel it like this, smaller. Apply now height zero. This a little bit longer. Apply now height will be going down. This will be not so much. Apply right now down. Apply <coughs> now by zero, and this should be a little bit bigger, uh, smaller. Apply and now straight up. And this should be zero. A little bit more. Apply this. Turn it down. And like this. Okay. I have no idea how to call this, so I will not call it any by any name. But I will use smooth on this. Smooth, auto smooth. Okay. I have this, this, this. Now here, here is some strange, strange, strange part which I don't like. But I will do it. So quick, do a cylinder in the middle. Big like this. And like this, convert to poly. I will call it strange thing. Now select by edge, hold on, control and edge, chamfer. Like this. Apply smooth. Apply. So if I, no. Smooth, smooth, where are you? Smooth, under S, smooth, auto smooth. 
do a mirror uh, copy push this here now here is some part uh, which is looking very strange which I don't like but I will do it and I will for this I will spline go to left by clicking L now select uh, select 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 I'll go here and line this you can turn off now the shape is looking I'll check I will shape something like this I will do it quick close spline I thought it's strange so like this, right click and smooth back to perspective now extrude this apply modifier extrude and extrude it all around like this convert to poly move it in the right position it should be free to see it should be somewhere here <coughs> now use the scale and scale it a bit too small free back to see yeah, strange part which I don't like. Four, it's smooth enough. So I should actually I should check for these corners. So select this poly, this poly, control edge, chamfer by a small amount, and apply smooth modifier, auto smooth. Yes. <coughs> okay. So this part is done too, and we are very near to the end. Okay. Now everything is smooth. Just this part is not so far. Ah, I forgot something here. Well, effect pivot. Effect pivot. Move it in the middle of this thing rotate it up like this you understand why a little later <coughs> now now what I will do now I will do this uh, go here make a cylinder Cylinder out grid, make a cylinder big like this. Now move it up like here, move it here and here. Make it a little bit bigger by one. Yep. Now convert to poly. Sorry. these these and these uh, chamfer chamfer huh control by edge chamfer why is it giving me so much so much I want just less and now hopla back my bad now copy it six times move it somewhere here Copy it six to five times, I mean, five times. Yep. So these attach all other. Move it in the middle. Apply smooth modifier. Apply 
sam material. No way, we are near to the end. Unhide all. Yep. Now, uh, check this. Effect build. Code sent to subject. And now, move it here. We go to left to make it right. Move it in the middle here. Turn this up. Perspective back. Now, when we move this, it will be. Ah, here is the problem. <laughs> Okay, delete, select and delete. So it will be opening how we want. Back. Back. <laughs> okay, check this. I'll delete this poly. And move it back. Ah, no, bad access. To zero. Okay. Now. Uh, select. I will do some extra detail here. Select these in set by two. Too much by one. Yes, by one. Now, uh, vertex and cut and cut it down here and here. Now select this poly and extrude them a little, maybe one, maybe 0 0.75, yeah, something like this. Select by edge and glow, glow, shrink and deselect this one inside and this. Uh, so this we do need to chamfer. <coughs> ah, I thought chamfer like this. Now, when we use subdivision on this one, we have some nice place for something here. And it's doing some intersection. How is this possible? Ah, <coughs> I know why. Oh. Okay, turn this back. Okay, it's doing here some uh, vertex and cut. Ah, vertex. Cut, 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 cut. Cut it from here to here. This should fix our problems. And when we delete this edge should be fixed absolutely. When not, I have a problem. No, it doesn't. It ah, I, I see, I know. Hopla. Ah. So this is moving back. It's moving back, it should not move back. Okay, ah. hide time selected. I need to look on this. Vertex. Cut. Cut this down. Now it should be fixed. Yep, the same there. By the way, I wasn't trying this to do before. Because so this sometimes I do small, very small mistakes. Okay, delete also by backspace deleting, not by delete. By delete, deleting just the police. Uh, so, what I want to tell ah, <coughs> so because this sometimes I can do some mistakes. I'm sorry for this, but it's something you will do too. Oh, this should be more one. And it's better when you uh, know how to fix them. Trust me. Cut. Now I will cut it right on the first time. Three, C. Cut it here. And the same here. So I'm 
Turbo model and uh, learn you how to do this model, but also you will know how to fix your problems when you will do some. It's good to know. Trust me. It's very good to know. It's a game to pick. One. No, zero five. You missed zero five. No, we didn't. It was bigger. Oh, so yeah, 75. <coughs> now, patch, grow, grow, shrink, deselect. Edges which we don't need to chamfer, and which we shouldn't chamfer, because it can do some mess. Now, chamfer this. Yeah. I don't think it would be wrong. Now, let's check if everything is ok. So far, so good. Ok, now in the section. Ah, just here. Something which we will fix right now. Hide unselected. Hide unselected. Let's look what it's doing. Cut. Cut this like this. Select by edge. Delete these edges. Select by vertex and delete this vertex by pressing backspace. And now it's smooth. I think I was telling that uh, Max had a big problem to smooth three edges police. Let's try to make uh, from three four. When you subdivision, just it's good to know. Now, now I think I'm finished. Or I will do this. Cut it also here, because this side is too round. And when I cut it here, it's the same. <laughs> okay, we will not do this. Cause this uh, chamfering here. You see, the here is not here. It is. Uh, we can fix it, but I will not. You can fix it by inserting here mm, some area. It will not smooth so much. <coughs> okay. Now, unhide all. Ah, I forgot to hide on selected. Now we need some holes here. Before, please save it. I will do a copy. <laughs> Just for sure. Copy and hide selection. Because for this, uh, click cylinder, auto grid on. For this, we will use ma boolean. It's not working every time. So, create some cylinder, <coughs> which will convert to poly. Go to left, press F3 uh, to see it. Now, just do some random holes. Like here, 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 maybe here, and maybe here. Back to perspective. Let's drag one here, rotate it by 45 degrees. Go to top by pressing T, press F3, press Z to zoom, and move it inside. Now, perspective back, Z to zoom, move this a little bit up, and make another here. Now, check this one and attach all other. Not this one. That one, that one, and that one. <coughs> Make a <coughs> mirror. Move it. Yeah. Some here. You can do different holes. Now, do subdivision of this and convert it to poly. Now, go here. You see, we have a lot of polygons. Cool. Boolean. 
It's a high poly object, by the way. Select this one, holes are down. Uh, again, boolean, and select these ones. Press F4. And our holes are down. Yeah. Convert it back to poly. <coughs> Unhide all. Click on this. Turn this on. Uh, convert to poly. Get this and can delete. Now open it. And our zipper file letter is done. Nice. It's nice, smooth, no cracks. Here in the front you can put some picture of someone if you want. And so so it's on you. Just do what you want. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's good. Uh, so in the next part of this uh, file lighter set, I will do another file lighter. If we look how many polys this has, we should know. Oh, 85,000. It's fine. But it's smooth, uh, and I hope you learned the basic of poly modelings by this and the use of subdivision. Since you saw that the use of subdivision is like everything has to be 100% alright, so it's strange. If you have some cracks here, so don't keep attention to it. Anyway, they are doing it, and I'm sure they're doing mistakes by doing the file lighter too, so don't keep attention. So, in the next part, I will create another file lighter, then another, so we have three, and I will render it in one scan, every three, all of three, all of them. Oh, I'm too tired. And after I will do render, and it will be done. Okay, see you in the next part. Bye bye.